Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we're taking a look at the exciting things that are coming to WoW in patch 9.2. First up, we have a brand new zone. It's huge, it's gorgeous. We're going to get to explore Xerath Mortis. This means new things to collect, new gear to earn, new outdoor systems to interact with, new reputations to meet. One thing among many that may make this more exciting than Corthia is that we are going to be able to fly in Xerath Mortis as early as the second week. We're going to get new campaign quests with more story developments if that's what you're looking for. As you explore and progress, you're going to be able to work through the Cypher of the First One system to unlock special Xerath Mortis bonuses. And if a new progression system sounds a little tiring, don't worry, there is no new renown, so you're going to be able to focus your efforts in the new zone. Next, speaking of things to do in Xerath Mortis, patch 9.2 is bringing so much for collectors in the form of mounts, pets, and toys. The snail mount is coming, but the snail mount is just the beginning. 9.2 is going to have plenty to keep us busy with around 40 new mounts and 53 new battle pets to collect. Most of these can be handcrafted with the protoform synthesis system, but don't think that makes it easy. You'll need to find the pattern for any given thing that you want to create, which could come from a rare, it could come from a quest, it could just be sitting on the ground outside, or it could come from a paragon rep cache, and some of them are going to take longer than others. We may spend quite a while in Xerath Mortis waiting for the next expansion to come out, but if you're trying to get everything out of protoform synthesis, there should be plenty for you to do for quite a while. Next, a new feature to speed up the pace. 9.2 is bringing a fresh Torghast mode called the Jailer's Gauntlet. This is the boss rush Torghast. Instead of clearing out large floors where you have to run very far and explore and kill an awful lot of trash, instead the floors are basically a room, a couple trash mobs spawn, and then you fight a series of bosses and then on to the next floor. It's all of the excitement of collecting your favorite powers and putting together really cool builds, and none of the endless running around. There are special rewards for this mode, including a Maw Rat mount if you complete it, and there are also new powers being added to Torghast, so if you're sick of the same old, there's going to be some fresh stuff thrown in there to spice it up. On top of that, there are four more layers of difficulty that have been added to the regular Torghast, so it's going to go up to 16. You're not going to need any Soul Ashes Hole Senders to get your rank 6 legendary to rank 7, but if you happen to need to get a fresh legendary up to rank 6, you will still need those things, and these Torghast updates should make it much more interesting to farm. Also, you can send Soul Cinders between characters, so if you already have the Soul Cinders on a different character, then you're okay. Next, a little cosmetic update for the Warlocks out there. The new Incubus option for Warlocks. By default, your Summon Succubus should bring out either a Succubus or an Incubus randomly, and if you prefer it to always be one or the other, there's this barbed collar item that can do that for you. Next, something a little more mechanical, 9.2 is bringing built-in options for both click casting and mouse over casting. These things are very nice for healing in particular. Mouse over casting is just a toggle in interface and then combat options, while the click casting menu can be found there or in keybinds. The mouse over casting toggle applies to all of your spells, so you just click it on and then all of a sudden all of your buttons will function as mouse over cast, so you can just mouse over your raid frames, press the key, no need to retarget people in order to heal them. And then the click casting menu looks like this, and that allows you to bind a spell to a mouse click. Mind you, that will unbind your mouse click to target, so it'll show you exactly what your mouse clicks do, but this allows you to do the kind of thing that um, Voodoo and Healbot have been letting healers do forever, but in the game without add-ons. Next up, for the PvPers out there, 9.2 is bringing Solo Shuffle, the long-awaited solo queue mode. This is a rated PvP mode that's going to let you solo queue into a series of 3v3 matches without having to put together your own team. It will shuffle up the combinations until every combination of players has fought against every other combination of players, and then give you rating depending on how well your matches went. This is fantastic for practice or for just getting you into the arena without needing to find teammates. Solo Shuffle is separate from the standard PvP ladder, but it's in, it's playable in 9.2, and I would guess that it's just the beginning. Speaking of PvP, there's also a brand new arena map coming in 9.2, the Muldraxxus Coliseum. We got three pillars. What else do you want? This part of Shadowlands was destined to be an arena, and in 9.2 it's finally happening. There was a second kind of broker themed arena that is not making it in time for the 9.2 launch, but keep an eye out for that one maybe in the future, that was the one with the button. We won't have to worry about that in 9.2 because that one was not ready yet. Next up, Tazavesh, the dungeon that is already in the game, but I bet you you haven't seen for a while, is being split into two wings for the sake of Mythic Plus and Random Heroic. So if you haven't done Tazavesh yet, you might see it in patch 9.2. Uh, Tazavesh was added back in 9.1, but most of us haven't been there in a while. There hasn't been a lot of reason to do it at endgame in 9.1. So some fresh dungeon content for the keys and for the Random Heroics. 
Speaking of combat, in 9.2, we are going to be able to wear two Shadowlands legendaries. Mind you, one of them must be your Covenant legendary, and then the other one can be any legendary you like. This may shake up your best Covenant and kind of spice up your combat rotation life, and should, generally speaking, increase our power quite a bit in old content. So if there's anything you've been struggling to farm out of existing Shadowlands content, wearing two legendaries is probably going to help. Speaking of power, tier sets are back in patch 9.2, finally. Raid is going to be the fastest place to acquire your tier set pieces, but Mythic Plus and Raided PvP players can also acquire it through the Great Vault, and then anybody is going to be able to craft it eventually in Xerath Mortis with the Forge of Creation. If you've never worn a tier set before, you're going to get a special combat bonus that is specific to your class for wearing two pieces and then a second one for wearing four pieces of the set. That will stack with your legendaries, assuming that you can fit it all onto your character, and it should make you feel pretty juicy in the endgame content of your choice. Finally, speaking of endgame content, 9.2 contains the final raid of Shadowlands, the Sepulchre of the First Ones. We're finally fighting the Jailer. This is an 11 boss raid, however, only the first eight saw public raid testing, so the race to world first should be exciting. The first eight bosses are going to be available starting March 1st on Normal and Heroic, and then the week after that, all bosses are available and Mythic opens. It should be quite exciting. If you defeat the Jailer on Heroic Difficulty during Shadowlands, you're going to earn the new Ahead of the Curve mount, the Carcinized Zerath Steed, and if you think it looks cool on the ground, you should see it fly. So that's the gist of 9.2. A quick note that cross-faction play is slated for 9.2.5, so before the next expansion, but not ready for the patch 9.2 launch, we are still going to be grouping with our own faction right off the top, but stay tuned for that in the .5 patch later on down the road. Thank you so much for watching, see you in 9.2, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.